Okay, so I am super, duper, duper excited. First off, I want to start out by saying just an update. <laughs> I'm going to have a shirt to wear because I felt, I don't know if I had mentioned this in the beginning, but once God had told me to do the watch me walk, he was like, and you're going to wear a shirt. And so <laughs> I'm going to have a shirt. So that way when I show up, I'm going to be showing up in faith. I'm going to be showing up reminding you of the journey and what was happening here because don't forget i'm walking i forgot to say hey welcome to day four step four but it's me wearing something first of all it's what god told me to do but also i want you to know that this isn't just about me it's about you and you being inspired you hopefully like deciding to start to do to step out on faith so let me hurry up and just get to my points of today today was an amazing day because god he's been consistently showing me um from the beginning um i don't have my um my edge brush so i, I feel a little i don't feel like my best but <laughs> The show must go on. So with that being said, um, today what he showed me was when God had originally told me to, um, you know, push out from the shore, I was leaving um, friends. I was leaving, I guess, activities. And I would almost be like, it would almost be like an oak tree, like oak trees that I had planted in my life for years, like years, like six years, you know, 25 years. Um just almost everything that that i had identified as me and i had to leave it and one of the main things that god had told me was that there were resources in my hands and i was using those resources in those hands to build other people but he was like stop doing that you're now going to take those times and you're going to build you're going to like invest in yourself you're going to build up yourself this is the year of you so i interpreted that also to mean that it was going to be i won't say i interpreted it what i will say is i thought that it was going to be lonely but god had something else in store it was like he in the boat you know gave me like little stops along the way or like filled it up but basically it's new people like new people and they are so supportive and they are so loving not that the old wouldn't have been don't get me wrong but what i think he was doing was pulling me out of my comfort zone and changing my position he was repositioning me from being a giver to being a receiver and if you're a giver and i mean like a real giver you know that it can be hard to receive because uh, funny thing is you don't even ask to receive you don't ask for help you don't ask you just give and so for me he probably i don't know i don't want to speculate all i know is i'm in a receiving um season he has tied my hands to giving and it's a blessing to be able to receive and to watch people give of their time, of their prayer, of their resources, of their talents and be happy about it because they want to see me win. <laughs> so that was something. The other thing is, um, oh, this is the other thing. The other thing is, I keep saying it. I said it yesterday, but I'm saying it today. It's not about the book. Even though we're all here for the book, right? We're here to watch God move. We're here to watch him with me take an idea, take a, a, a divine idea and watch it manifest however it's going to happen, right? But what this also was about is I want you guys to, uh, I guess, not hold me accountable, but I, I guess y'all are going to see how I live my life. And so one of the things that's important to me and what I know, like, you know how, like, you'll see stuff on um, notebooks and stuff. And even just now, it'd be like boss babe or like, I don't know, like grinding for hers. And then she'd be like, it'd be like a stack of money and stuff. That's not how the noble woman does it. Um, not that it's not a grind, but, and not to say that the boss babe thing 
isn't what I'm saying. I'm just saying that there's a lot of stuff about that, but you don't be seeing stuff that be like homemaker grind. <laughs> Mom, you know, like, uh, I don't even know. Like, like, but like home, seriously, like homemaker. So this is the thing. Titus 2 is one of the, the foundations of the uh, noble woman, right? And it's that we be workers in our home. And so this is how it works. It's your relationship with God. Then it's relationship with your husband. Then it's relationship with your children. Then it's like everything else. And so you do have to have when I say your relationship with God, it's like you're into it's that like, like that's your that's what you that's what you give unto first, what you give unto second, what you give unto third. I obviously do a lot. So I and I, I'm a like I homeschool my kids, but I'm a I'm more of a facilitator in that because they're a little bit older. Also, I have a business right that me and my husband both run. Also, I be writing a book. Also, I have family obligations like with my parents and things like that. And so, you gotta put that stuff in order. And what I realized is as I have hit the ground running, y'all, I don't cook. I'll be cooking. No, I don't be cooking. <laughs> we eat out. And I don't I don't know about the laundry. My husband's doing it. We had got into a minor little argument about who was gonna do it because stuff is falling behind. And so what I know is that I cannot I, this is the other thing that I don't like. I had stepped out to do lunch, and this is something that my husband always reminds me is that spending time with the kids and doing family things is work too. It's an assignment too. And sometimes I feel unproductive when I am not doing things like, you know, producing works. But the truth is, spending time with my children is the work. And so it's always a battle. Like, yes, I do have to do outward things. I got to do business stuff and I got to do ministry stuff. But I have to um, do family first and so I want to be praying about that the other thing that bothers me is and this I've told my kids this um is when I'm with them and I'm like consumed with my phone even if I'm doing things like sending emails taking calls you know scrolling through social media or listening to a YouTube video of inspiration or preaching I don't like it I don't like that when I'm with them that my time is um not quality with them or if i'm on my phone and my husband's calling me like erica 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 and i didn't hear him until the third erica but that's because i was doing something like i gotta figure out how to schedule things like maybe it's at the nighttime so i had did my a bachelor's degree i just graduated last year whatever was covid so 2019 and I remember I purposely scheduled school with my kids this before I homeschooled. So this was, I, cause I graduated, but I, I was doing school for like two years. And I had scheduled my classes when the kids was in school so that when I got home, I could be home for them. And then I scheduled, like when I started homeschooling, I would homeschool them during the day and then I would go to school at night so that I didn't um, you know, mess up that time. And so now that they're homeschooled and now I'm done school and now it's the business, stuff is all over the place. And I know what my priorities are. So I'm about to, I gotta jump and get onto my um, QE class, but I want to um, pray real quick um, for me and then get in where you fit in if this is for you too. Father God, I wanna come to you right now, Lord God. I wanna first ask that you forgive me, Lord, for the sins that I have committed against you. Lord God, I just wanna thank you, Lord. I wanna thank you for for, for this assignment. I want to thank you for choosing me, for loving me, Lord God. I want to pray not only for myself, Lord God, for my sisters who's listening as well. Lord God, that you order our steps, that you order our life, that you order it according to your word, according to your way. Lord God, we don't want to do what the world says do, which is, you know, they they, they train women or they are they like the propaganda is that women need to be independent and that like almost like a family is a hindrance or the kids are a hindrance or like you know like uh the job where you know i told you god when you pulled me off my job i was i was a success you know in, in corporate i was a success you know in finance but my house was a mess i was failing at that the, you know the house wasn't clean the clothes wasn't cook like nothing food wasn't cooked i ain't had no time for the kids and lord god i don't want to enter into this season like that again lord i want to be baking again i want to make my bread from scratch again i want to 
clean again and vacuum again and um i want to make apple cider again i want to make the soaps i want to make the cookies make the hot chocolate lord god and i want to do the work that you have for me after i've done the first work that you've given me which is to work in my home lord god i want to tend to my husband and his needs i want to tend to me and my needs i'll be like it be i gotta make sure i'm taking care of myself and it's it's a good thing to be excited and it's a good thing to be um consumed in a sense but i don't want to be all consumed i want to give you your time god i want to give you your six to eight o'clock in the morning and then from there i want to homeschool from the eight to the twelve thirty, and then from there i want to fix lunch i want to make sure i'm going food shopping i want to make sure that i'm you know making a laundry church just all those things that you had me to do lord god and i want to take joy in it lord god so i pray that throughout this journey that you restructure my mind that i not forget the real work in jesus name that i not forget the real work that i not forget the real assignment lord god and then i want to pray lord god for these women that that, that are watching lord i want to pray for her i want to pray that you would honestly turn her life upside down lord god i pray that you turn it upside down for you i pray if there's anything it remind me of jonathan McReynolds' song make room lord god and he says um that you, uh, my itinerary you can move that over uh, my Facebook time, you can move that over. My Instagram time, you can move that over. Whatever it is, you can move that over. Lord God, that's for me too. But Lord God, I pray that you, as you move in it over in our life, Lord God, that you, that it's time with you. That you make room for you. You make, like, I, I need to, like, guard my time with my children. I need to be present with them. I don't need to be on my phone and, huh, huh, and half listening off of some stuff that's on some TV that I can watch later. God, fix that in me. I repent and I'm sorry, Lord. Same with my husband, Lord. I just love you. I thank you. I praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.